different high school in York Region uh, to, uh, to launch the Seasonal Ride campaign. Thank you to Father Michael McGivney Catholic Academy for hosting this year's Ride and Red Ribbon campaign kickoffs. This launch gives us the opportunity to not only reflect upon the dangers of impaired driving, but more importantly, to use the spotlight of today to raise awareness that will last well beyond this event and hopefully save lives. Her life was drastically changed when she was struck by a drunk driver on December 15, 2003. Michelle was driving westbound on Rutherford Road to pick up her, at the time, 19-month-old son when her vehicle was struck by an impaired driver. We have made it our mission to eradicate the serious threat to community safety. It's been nine years since the date of my head-on collision with an impaired driver. For many years, there was a lot of discussion throughout the media regarding who was and how much anyone involved was affected by the outcome of that accident. And up until now, I have remained the 39-year-old woman from Woodbridge who walked away with minor injuries. At the time of my accident, my son Preston was almost 19 months old. And as many children are, he was very attached and dependent on his mommy. For four months, I struggled to lift and sustain the weight of my own child due to my injuries. Therefore, not being able to cherish every minute with him, mentally, physically, and emotionally, in my own time, on my own terms, was a loss I will not get over. The RIDE program has been integral to this evolution. Many lives have been saved thanks to a police officer stopping a tragedy before it happens. And many people think twice about having that extra drink before, uh, because they know it's wrong. And I also do want to certainly acknowledge uh, Chief Jolliff for acknowledging also the issue of drugs themselves becoming uh, an increasing concern and another form of impairment for our people who drive. We are sending out the important message not to drink and drive this holiday season. We distribute thousands of red ribbons which represent MAG Canada's signature tribute to those who have been killed or seriously injured as a result of impaired driving. Red ribbons are a sign of hope that one day we will never be injured or killed by an impaired driver. MAG Canada's mission is to stop impaired driving and to support victims of this violent crime. And my memory being in high school is, uh, how is that going to happen? How am I going to turn? How is 16-year-old Dave going to turn into old Dave? Um, it seemed impossible. And I'm 25 now, and I, I'm learning that what happens, what connects those dots are choices. And we make these choices every day, and they're small ones and medium ones. And, and it's really important, big choices like drugs and alcohol, and how you interact with those. And these choices add up and they build like a life path for you. Would you like a chance to stop what happened to Michelle from happening? I don't think anybody would say no. We would all love to. Unfortunately, that time has passed. But we can make a difference. You, have, you do have the power. So um, there's three things you can do. Three things, very simple. And I'm going to get you to say them out loud. I don't want you saying them if you don't mean them. So I'm going to say it, I want you to repeat after me. The three things you can do, I want you to repeat. I will not ever drink and drive. I will not ever drink and drive. I will do my best to stop others from drinking and driving. I will do my best to stop others from drinking and driving. And I will tell on people I think are drinking and driving. This is important. Come on.